Let's get some bait on the rods. Get them out there. Man, we got a bus this weekend. Skunk can't be having that. That's just not going to work for me. Let's get some lines in the water. I don't know if to see all them rods or not. We're, just, we're going to scoot way back where we can keep an eye on them. And, oh, hold on. We got something hitting already. Hold on. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, that's not a bad start. Here a few minutes, just a couple of minutes, and uh, I just threw that rod out. Look at there. I want to show you something. Ow! Quit biting me. There's that river cat's tackle, 10 odd hook, right through that bottom jaw. River cat's tackle, baby. DSO 10 gets you hooked like that. I'm using the 10 odd today, and we got on that. Let me get a quick weight on him, and we'll get him loose. I was, I was late getting here, you guys. I apologize. I, I ain't got nothing set up or nothing ready to go. Nothing's laid out like it's supposed to be. But we're going to do all right. Not a bad little uh, cold weather flathead. That's 8.72 on that one. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Uh, 8.72. Oh, hold on. We got our fish rod going off. Come 
that oh there goes that yellow uh, that yellow mellow yellow, yellow mellow that yellow mag catch rod just got bumped again guys so we may be getting on something here in a minute kevin Payne, how you doing i already got one flat horn i was out here for five we threw his rods out and a, we had a flat head in five minutes and i think we might be fixing to get on something else here in just a second because that yellow rod down there is acting pretty touchy he's pulling on it right now we move down there in just a minute. I don't want to jump the gun on that fish. I do not want to jump the gun on him like I did last time. Let's let that cowboy eat. Oh, there's a good bump right there. We better start making our way down there. And there he is. All right, that's going to be a, cat, a channel cat right there, guys. And uh, this fish ain't got no eyes. And you look where you see he's been caught on something before and tore his head up and healed up. So, oh, 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 come back here. Man, you're slippery. Let's get a quick weight on him get him out of here. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I might eat that fish. I'm seriously thinking about eating that fish. What you going away for Channel Cat today? We've got, come on there. He's 5.07, 5.07. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you know you love me and you know you trust me. I'm not going to lie to you. 5.07 pounds on that Channel Cat. Hey, all we need is a baby blue and we'll have the trifecta baby right there look at that you know what son i was really thinking about eating you but you ain't got no eyes i'm gonna feel sorry for you and i'm gonna turn you loose bet on i mean old that gummit betty just got hit Old Black Betty, come on now. Betty got hit, and the Orange Uncle Lou Rod just got hit. Come on now. We need a blue cat. We need a blue a cat. Uh, let's go, people. That's going to be one of the ones I got to sneak up on. Go. Oh, crap. Betty got hit. Betty got hit again.
strangled him like a cowboy. <laughs> I say he's been on there for a minute, wouldn't you? Good Lord, son. What have you done? What the crap, man? Good gravy. And there's that. Oh, easy. easy. There again, there's that river cat's tackle, 10 odd hook. Y'all gonna have to get over it. That one there's gonna be supper. I'm gonna put him in the bait tank. If I can catch uh, one more of these, me and Stacia will have fish tonight. If I catch three more, I'll have two fish and Stacia will have one. We're going to put him in the bank tank. If we don't catch any more, he'll be alive. We can turn him loose later. Now, I have downsized my baits today. Um, what the crap? Which way did that go? Oh. I have downsized my baits today. Even I still got that big old river catch tackle 10 knot hook. I'm cutting these little shad. These aren't very big shad. They might be four or five inches long. I'm cutting them in half. Check it out. That's all the world I'm doing right there. That's it. Okay. You can't get the bait without getting the bite. You're going to get bit. All right, y'all. That's three today. Up, up, mad cast rod. Dun, 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 dun. He ain't big, but there you have it. We've got the trifecta. We've got flathead, blue cat, and channel cat on the board today. We did the trifecta in what time is it? Exactly. Oh my god, one hour. <laughs> we got the trifecta in one hour, guys. Look at the black the tips. It looks like a black tip shark. Look at that. See that? You know, he's big enough for Stacia. Stacia's going to eat this one. Now, 
I don't keep big fish. That right there is the size I like. Uh, you give me a, about uh, five or six of these right here. Perfect. Perfect. But that was going home to Stacia. So we got our supper tonight. But if I catch one or two more this size, I'm going to keep them too. By the way, look at that fat little belly on him. And look at all the mud on him. Laying on the bottom. Laying on the bottom, guys. But he got a plump little tummy. We've caught four species of fish. We got a car. He dirty now, but that's a big old gar, y'all. Let me get him back. But nothing is touching them. It's baby buffalo. They're not baby carp. Carp and buffalo are actually, you know, buffalo is actually a species of shiner. It's not, oh crap, oh crap. Look at that monster. That's on the rods that we were going to move. Now, look here. Dude, this is what I was talking about <laughs> earlier, ladies and gentlemen. To me, that's the perfect size. I will cook that fish whole. I mean, I'll cut his damn head off, you know what I'm saying? But this right here, I'll cook that whole. That's the perfect eating size. That fish won't even go a pound. Probably not. And that's the rods that we were going to move, but we did, when we reeled them up, found out there was no bait on them, so we baited them up and threw them back out, and uh, 
This is what happened. What's he going to be? Perfect. Perfect. 0.94. That's no fish grips. I hooked directly on that fish. And it's 0.94. I don't know if you can see that or not. That fish is just under a pound. Cook him up whole. Nom, 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 nom. Good stuff, I'm telling you. And uh, I don't keep big fish. That one's going home with me. Right on top of me. Right on top of me. Can't even look at it no more. Oh. Well, that's probably gonna that's probably gonna ruin this for me. This spot. Oh my God, he's clean. I will tell you what, dude. Dude, he's, look. If he gets it closer, he'll be sitting in my lap. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Really, dude? Are you freaking for real? Oh. Uh oh, Betty's getting hit, but I don't know. He may have me in his anchor. Look, Betty's going down. I bet he's got me in his anchor. I bet he does. I bet he's got me in his anchor. He does. He's got me. He's got me. Have you got my line? I think you've got my line. Almost got him. I think they got the hint. They figured out I was picking. He had drugged Black Betty into his boat. He picked up my line and had it in his boat. And when I slung that five ounce by his head, yeah, I threw a five ounce sinker out there. He said, whoop, time to go. <laughs> it's amazing how a five-ounce sinker will intimidate the hell out of somebody. I did. I mean, I splashed water on his ass. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> I come in one day, and the station was in there in the bathroom taking a shower. And, uh, man, I was hungry as hell. And I come in, opened up the door of the refrigerator, and I said, what is this right here in this bowl? And it looked like some kind of chopped meat. We had uh, carrots and peas in it. And uh, I thought, what is that? I said, and I went over and got a spoon, 
and uh, I got a big old bite off of it. And uh, I said, well, it's got kind of a wang to it, but, you know, it's not bad. And about that time, Stacia come walking out of the bathroom with a towel on her head. And she goes, what are you eating? I said, this stuff in this bowl. She goes, that's freaking dog food, you idiot. <laughs> She goes, stop eating that. That stuff costs a lot of money. <laughs> I ain't lying, y'all. It's funny as hell, man. I was eating that dog food. She come in here chewing my ass. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I said, well, don't put the dog food in the refrigerator next to my food because I can't tell them apart. There you go. There's our number four eater that we was looking for. So we catch any more, we thaw them back. We was looking for four eaters. We got them. We're not even going to use this, the uh, grippers on him. Let's see what he weighs. Oh, right in the pocket. Perfect, baby. Perfect. 2.87. That is a perfect, perfect eating fish. You cut them fillets off there. They're just the right size. Perfect for eating right there. So we got four eater fish. Boom. That was one of our goals. Knocked off the board right there. Mwah. Let me throw him in the cooler. We'll get that rod back out. We got a few more minutes. We catch anything else. They're going back in the water. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, we, like I said earlier, we have varying depths of water here. You see how that bank comes over and it drops off and then it goes flat and then it drops off. But right up in there, okay, that is super shallow right off of that edge right there. That's only about three foot deep, three foot deep. That's where I'm casting that rod, those last two rods. I thought them, it's a shallow shelf right there, but it drops off real fast. It, gets, it drops off right in here real, real quick. And it gets like super deep back this way, back this way. But every one of those eater catfish come off that shallow flat right there. That's about three foot deep. That's it. Three feet. That's where those little eaters come from. So I forgot to mention that earlier. I just want to thought I'd take a minute and tell you guys that the little eaters are coming off the shallow flat, shallow water, three foot deep. But as you go out here, 
it drops off quick. And the flathead came from way out there, right where that current seam is. See that current seam? I threw a, I threw that rod way out there and got right on that current seam. And that's a long ways out there, folks. I'm telling you, it's way out there. But that's where the flathead come from. And the blue cat came from out there too, even though he was a little small one. He came off that deep hole out there along that, uh, off that cotton picking. Oh, look at her. The Uncle Lou Ron I just threw out. It's getting hit again already. That one right down there. That one I just threw out. That's on that shallow flat that I'm just talking about. That water's three foot deep. That's what's holding all the smaller eater fish right there. Some of them are averaging between half a pound all the way up to five pounds. Oh, crap. Boy, he's really pulling. Another little small eater right there off that shallow flat. We'll weigh him. We're going to go ahead and put this one back. Um, we've got four. Uh, that's all we need. <clears throat> and I don't want to take, I want to, I want to take just what I need and no more than that. 1.1, 1 1.1 1 .1 pounds. But that would be a, That'd be a great fish to cook up whole right there. It would. He's a little skinny side too, so we won't put him back and let him go. Let me turn you around here where I can see you. And y'all can see me proper. See me proper? I got to go through all that crap and get out of here. <laughs> Had a great time with you guys today. We got on some fish, just small eaters. We were after eaters, though. We wanted some fish to take home for supper, and we got it done. Got us a flathead, got us a blue cat, got us a channel cat. Even throwed in a gar for a bonus fish. What fun can that be? All right. Oh, my God, I've just run myself ragged this weekend. I have, I have, I have. Um, oh, serious no, thank you guys. Okay, you know how much I, I care about you. I really do. And I appreciate every time you show up and support me and hang out here. You're my brothers. You're my sisters. You're my catfish family. God bless each and every one of you. You know, you know, you know that Danny Stone loves you. And we'll see y'all again real soon. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye, everybody.